Hi everyone, this is Mr. Boren, your math teacher from Minnesota. And if you're looking at this video, you're probably interested in how to make your TI-84 color graph faster. Okay, well I'll show you how to do that. Okay, you will learn how to set the mode to graph faster. There's a certain mode setting. And the second thing is why the settings make a difference. Okay, as usual, this is supported by a PDF single page document. You can go to andyborn.com slash math. You'll find this and others, and uh, there will be a PDF that you can download, and it'll have the written instructions here and a written explanation of what you're going to see in this video. Okay, well, first of all, you're going to want to set um, the mode by pressing the mode key. Uh, you'll find kind of in the lower three quarters of the, the menu, something that says go to second format graph and this isn't really a setting per se but it's like um, a way for you to get to this other menu right over here this is the second format graph at the very bottom there's a setting on off for detect asymptotes you're gonna wanna set that to off in order to plot faster and here's what it looks like when you do it on the calculator okay we're gonna bring it on in and here we go. Let me just make it a tad bit smaller. And good. Now, all right, so I've already got a function in here. I've got y2. This is going to be x squared minus 6, just a simple function here. It's turned on. This t function up here is turned off for now. You're going to see that in just a second. But when I press the graph key, you'll notice it takes a little while for this thing to graph. It took a few moments there to finally go in. But to set the mode for it to graph faster, press the mode key. And then here's your mode menu and you're going to go down here to second graph, second format graph, go here to yes and click enter. And like I said, here's that second menu. Press the up arrow key to instantly get down here to the very bottom option detect asymptotes and set it to off. See off is blinking there press enter and now the mode is set. You can press second mode to quit out of there and then when we press graph again, boom, much faster. Yay, that's what we like. All right, so you might be wondering, hey, why do we have that thing on at all? I want it to be fast all the time. Okay, well I'll show you why it might make a difference. Here I'm gonna go into my Y equals editor screen and I'm going to turn on this this beast here is a rational function. And I'm going to turn that on so it graphs. And the bottom one here, I'm going to turn this off so it doesn't graph because we're all done with that. In fact, you know what? I'll just clear it out. And like that. Okay. So the um, let's just go back here to, to mode. I'm going to set this thing to yes. And I'm going to go over here. And okay, yeah. So detect asymptotes is off. I'm going to hit graph, and this is what the, um, the rational function looks like with detect asymptotes off. It looks like it has for the last several years when you've been graphing this thing on a non-color TI-84+. You see these little peaks right here? This is not an accurate plotting. I mean, it did not draw this really nicely. This is a poor drawing, really awful. And um, to the algebra student that's like working with rational expressions, just beginning to you know get a handle on them, uh, you might get the impression that this this function is continuous. That means that there's no breaks in here. It looks like there's some dippies, and it goes up there and comes down. But you might think, hey, this is a continuous function. No, it's not. So what we need here is a more accurate graph. Let's go here to mode and let's turn that thing back on. It'll be slower, but it'll be worth it. I'm gonna go here to yes. I'm going to go here to detect asymptotes on. I'm turning the mode back on. And I'm going to hit graph. And now this time it's slower, true. But what we see here is this is where the asymptotes are. There's regions in the plotting of this graph where it goes to negative infinity. And here's positive infinity. And there's like this little line here in between it that's invisible that you can't see. But this is a more accurate rendering of the graph of the uh, rational function. And there it is at the very top here. You can see, pause your video, and if you want to copy this down and try it for yourself, go right ahead. But anyway, that's why it's there. So with the mode on, we get an accurate plotting of rational functions with asymptotes. 
And with it off, we can still plot it, you know, just fine, but it, then the, the plotting of the graph looks terrible. That's why it's there. All right. That's it. Go to andyborn.com slash math. Find this if you want. Uh, print it out. And uh, you're all good. So thanks for watching this.